standard was like week one. Terrible. You plan on winning it, it has to be at a certain level. I think when they take their brief so literal, it's just not cool. How are you? I'm so relieved. Last week I thought I was going home. I was just so scared. But you know, forget the past. New challenge, baby. Now I have a big chance. What band for two girls and one guy? Hi. Hi. How are you? Excited. Excited. So you might be wondering why there are three mannequins upstairs. We are going to have you do a little mini collection. You'll have three clients, three outfits, and a very open and generous brief. We do want the collection to have a cohesiveness about it. And you have 500 pounds for the entire collection. I think the main difficulty with this week's challenge is just the time. If it was three separate design briefs, being integrated into a mini collection, that's doable with huge forward planning. But in two days, you just don't have enough time. She says she likes my watch, but she wants Steve's AP. And she said I'll pull hours watching QVC. She said she loves my songs, she bought my MP3. And so I put her number in my... The workload this week is going to be massive. And you are going to need an assistant. She want to see what's... <laughs> It was amazing to see everyone, like all the old contestants. It's just nice to be in that environment again. It was just like um, the first day we all met. <laughs> OK, guys, calm down. There is more. To our final four designers, you can all pick one person to assist you for this week. Heidi, seeing as though that you were last week's winner, we're going to let you go first, and then we'll go in alphabetical order. Um... I picked Ralph. <laughs> I was a bit annoyed that Heidi picked Ralph before me, but then, you know, she won, so she deserved to pick the first one. So I picked Megan just because, you know, she's good at sewing and, you know, she's really good at pattern cutting. And Steve? Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Zainab, your choice is? Ben. <gasps> oh. I was a little concerned about Ben. You know, he wakes up late, you have to wake him up every morning, he sneaks out for a cigarette, but I have faith in him. <laughs> <laughs> this is your final chance now to get into the final three. So we're very lucky to have your first client here with us. And it is... Tinchy Strider! Yeah. What's going on, everyone? Everyone cool? Yeah. Yeah. It was nice seeing Tinchy. It was it's cool. It's cool doing a guy, definitely. I've got a headphone launch coming up my own headphones and at the launch I want to wear something like standing up. I'm going to keep it as straight as I can. I just want a jacket that can be kind of extravagant, something you dine out in, but then you can wear it on different occasions. At the same time, I don't want it to be too loud. The colours I like, some certain beige, greyish, and an outfit with like some chinos, some trousers and a shirt. I really want a shirt and I'd like to see what you can bring to me then we can discuss more. Is there anything you want to try but you, you've always been a bit scared or reserved? I kind of know what I like. I ain't someone who I know my style and what I like, so I wouldn't want to try something just for the sake of trying, you know. 
All right, guys, that's enough questions. I think you've got enough work to be getting on with, so I suggest you go upstairs and get on with it. <laughs> Come, Alfie. I love seeing everyone again, and it feels like I never left in a way. Like, it feels like uh, home again. Okay, guys, we'll all see you tomorrow when we'll give you your next client for this week's challenge. This week is so, so, so important. Doing an outfit for these three people, it's the difference between going home or dressing Rihanna. This is what we came here for. Please gather around at this end of the room for us. So, I hope you've made progress on your Tinchy Strider outfit because we're about to deliver challenge number two. It's someone who I personally know very well and she'll definitely tell you if she's not happy with something. Your next client is... Nicola Robert. Me! She's gonna kick off if Henry. it's wrong. <laughs> you are. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, Henry's gonna do the honors and deliver my brief. Try to work more to a mood rather than a trend. Currently, the mood is quite relaxed, youthful, urban, sexy, but not outwardly sexy. Feminine, but not girly. Nicola is not afraid to experiment, so the silhouette is completely up to you. I'm really excited about Nicola's brief because she's not scared to try something new. It's a good challenge. We know how much fun she has with clothing. She's really playful, but having a day to make her an outfit is really stressful. <laughs> I think the designers could easily fall into the trap of getting lazy and designing something that they know Nicola wears every day. Their job is to take Nicola's look and push it forward. Then again, she does change her mind more often than I change my socks, so it's anyone's guess on the day, really. Because if we keep sewing... Oh, this is a good colour for Nicola. We call ourselves Team Zen, like Zainab and Ben. I feel like she really actually trusts me, me and her, Lorel and Jimmy. We're back, because uh, I'm, I'm happy. Lame, stay away from this corner. It's very offence. No, I'm looking at that little print. That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. What the...? <laughs> One sec. <laughs> We're not making clothes for strippers. Oh! <laughs> The last couple of weeks in the competition have been tougher for me. I've kind of taken a knock to my confidence and I don't want to be kind of on a downward slope, but I want to pick that back up. I want to, you know, get to the final. Steve is um, panicking a lot this week, but I think, you know what, everyone is. It's mental. Three outfits, three days.
went in their first shop expecting to get one thing and got everything. Thank you. And, um, and I was like, oh my God, this is going so well. Hey, Steve. Hi, Heidi. How, How are you? Doing? I'm frazzled today. Frazzled? Yeah, I don't know what's up. I'm just not getting there. You will? I know, I know. I just want to be on it. Like, we just no time for, you know, indecision. But um, hopefully I'll get there. I don't know. First shop. <laughs> You've got loads already. Wow. If I don't come by, I might send my assistant for okay, you. No problem. Hi, Ben. How's it going? Good, good, good. How's it working with Ben? Is he a good assistant? Yeah, he's a really good assistant. He's like, it's exactly why I chose him, is because he's, he thinks of things that I wouldn't think of. Where's my notepad? So what's it like working for Heidi? Heidi is completely opposite to how I work. Oh, really? Yeah. It's been challenging, definitely, and she can see that on my face. In all honesty, I have been wondering whether it was a wise decision picking Ralph. Because he's like, wants to go, wants to go, wants to go. And, and also I wanted to contribute his opinion. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. So it made me feel shit as a designer. Do I want to gather round? Okay. I think this is the first time when I've come in and I can visibly see that everyone is shattered. Yeah. So I am about to deliver the third challenge. It's a full stage performance look for Little Boots. Little Boot is going to come in in about six hours to talk to you guys and to look through your designs. I have the brief here. Little Boot is fashion forward, so anything cool, London. Dresses are great, easy for stage, as well as separates like crop tops and shorts or top and skirts. As Little Boot is petite, clothing above the knee works great to give her some extra height. In the gig is in Las Vegas, so it's going to be really hot and it will need to be quite lightweight. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. Back later to see how you're all getting on. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. Right now, we are a week away from somebody dressing Rihanna. They have to just step up, push the tiredness aside. They have to focus and they have to deal with it and they have to get it done. The showcase is tomorrow. They have to have three designs finished by tomorrow. I will finish it no matter what. You know, nothing can stop me, nothing. So we've got someone going to Las Vegas, someone on the show, representing the entire show, and then we've got Tinchi Shrider launching his headphones, all at different areas of the spectrum, fashion-wise, style-wise, world-wide-wise. So yeah, it's difficult. Need pastel. Hi, <gasps> what are you making for little boots? Um, a dress. I'm using pastels because I really want to do Nicholas jumper in pastels. Like I think it look amazing with pastels. So last season, darling. We've got to make three different celebrities for tomorrow, and they all have to go in a cohesive collection, and we've got nothing made. Nothing. It's Jacqueline, happy as Larry, got half her bloody collection done. And this is like semi-final, <laughs> and I've got and I've got my own assistant who's not who's trying to work with me, and he won't. He just can't. I can't get him to do what I want to do because I don't really know what I'm doing, even though it's in my head. And it's and I, oh, it's so hard. Oh. 
I have to leave in five minutes and I have three shops to go to. Guys, this is your client, this is Little Boots. I can't wait to see what they come up with. So what's the event? This is one of the biggest dance music festivals in America. I really want something to stand out because also I've seen what the kids wear to these events and people really dress up. It's going to be a big stage with a lot of people, so it's got to stand out from a distance. But I mean, the other thing is it's going to be boiling hot, so I guess it's going to be difficult to combine something that's functional with something that's really going to stand mm. out. When they come in, you really need to like home in on the criteria. So if they're mm. sort of way off, this is really important for you for the event, so don't hold back. OK. I'm going to do a mini dress. It's quite fitted, but there'll be stretch at the back. It's a really, really simple silhouette on what's a kind of good length. It doesn't really matter to me. The shimmer from the fabric is quite unusual. I on think. stage, it's going to like pick up on the lights and it should be like, it should look quite good. Thank right. you so much. Right. Thank you Lovely. So much. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. It's going to be really eye-catching from a distance. The colour palette is quite kind of more subdued. I think if he gets that shape to work, then that will actually make it a lot cooler. You just have to make it now and make it fit and make it to, the, you know, the way she wants. <laughs> Somehow, by tomorrow. Hello. So, I'm just going to make more like a box of shorts kind of thing, and it's just like silk. OK, so quite loose-fitting. Yeah, loose-fitting. This is a waist got this one. OK. And then at the back, there would be initials of yours. Uh -huh. Like branding yourself, like, yeah. well, this is like me. Mm, and that's really important. Thank you for your Thanks hard so much. work. My theme is about like branding yourself. And she, she, she loves the idea of me actually put initials on, on her waistcoat. It's probably a little bit out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. but I'm always really up for trying new things. I mean, I think my main worry with it is it could look a little bit cheerleader than the lettering. I wanted to make you a dress. I wanted it to be like, um, like hang away from the body, just so you felt comfortable underneath when you were on stage. And I wanted to base it on the drape of a vest. So is there going to be, is it two layers on this top bit then? Um, I think I'm just going to bind it in the black because I think it'd be too hot if it if That's you had two layers. That's what I was layers. thinking, yeah. It feels quite relaxed. Yeah. I think that's quite a nice take on it, actually. Thank you. So that was Heidi. That was the calmest Heidi's ever been. Really? Yeah. First thing I want to say, don't be too scared of this. It's going to be more refined. It's really striking. It's a very girly, feminine shape, but then, you know, the leather and this, like, padded stuff is quite quirky, like, tougher. The only thing I'm worried about with the quilted stuff is it's going to be really, really hot, because, I mean, this is, like, insulation, pretty much, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like, that's just going to hit you up even I wonder if you can do any um, boning or, like, a cage underneath. I think boning, yeah, boning should work mm -hmm. with it. It'll be cool. I could just use, like, the same fabric, because it's so thin and really light without that. Well, yeah, so I'll, I'll be ripping that stuff off. Hi. Good luck. Bye. Any favourites so far? You know, I'm torn between what I would usually wear and what feels like my style and trying something new. It's going to be tough and it'll be interesting to see how far they change them after the chat we've had today. Feel a cold flush Going from my hair and hay and no what I don't even care the time has passed me by It's gone with the wind, it's all because the sun shined once again Now the party's on, everybody's saving If you don't know anyone, you'll still make some new friends That's the way it is, when I have myself a drink of My chest is going about a million miles an hour. Where else is feeling on an emotional ledge? Ledge? I'm not falling off the cliff. I'm just waiting to land. <laughs> You're free falling. Yeah, literally. Then where we are? Stitch to do to put on a waistband. We've got so much more to do. Oh, what else do you need help with? Down, down. 
he's really, really trying and he's also trying to get the standard up as well. But I still have to wake him up. I had to run into his room this morning and go, Ben, get up! <laughs> I am stressed out, but I don't really faff around or screaming. Like, you know, I don't need to. It doesn't solve any problems. It's all about the working, not the talking. Um, guys, we only have five minutes. Oh, my God. The taxi's here. I've got a lot to do before I even leave. I might as well not even go. I might as well just stay here and wait in the elimination room. The strong, the mighty, the forces of evil can never destroy the powers of the Wonder Man. And though the most formidable journey lies ahead, only one will prevail. Wonder. Wonder. Uh -oh. here. Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air I know I can count on you Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care But you've got the love I need to see me through Sometimes it seems the Lord is just too old Wait, that isn't even so normal. What have you been doing? That's what I'm saying, because I was standing on the waistband. No, but before then, that was like her the pressure in the air. Shall we get cracking? Yes. See yes. the first one. Do it. Let's go. Since you already think. I like the jacket, I like how they've done like the different colours on it. What do you think? Well, she's taken on board what we said and taken some of the padding up, but for me it's really lost that shape, which was the real wow yeah. factor. I really like it. I love it. I think it's really cool. First thing I thought it was a throwback. Yeah. That 80s, like, football jersey or boyfriend's jersey kind of thing, but with a twist. Um, I think it's about time we saw Zainab. Hi. Tell us a little bit about the outfits. Tinchy, you said you didn't want anything too wild, but yeah. I thought I'd put a little bit of the colour on there. Little boots, I wanted to give you, um, like, a really feminine silhouette and um, something that's fun that you can, like, move around in. And then Nicola, I've really gone kind of, like, 80s with the whole bat wing. Thank you, Zainab. Oh, thank you, Tinchy. Thank, thank you, little boots. This is like the biggest shock of my life. <laughs> I really like the jacket. That jacket is brilliant. That accordion thing on the sleeve. Yeah. I'm having that. Wow. Oh, I'm feeling mixed emotions. Like some bits that I really love. I really like the fabric. I think it's really unusual. It is really short. At that length, it looks a bit like a costume from Pretty Woman. I swear you just gritted your teeth. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't take it off the rail. I think even the choice of fabric, it's so chintzy. It's just not something that Steve hasn't seen me in. We're going to get Steve out. 
Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hi Victoria. Hi Tinchi. I like the jacket. I like what you've done with the leather and the, and the shirt and the jacket. The top half feels like something I could wear. Um, and then do you want to move on to Nicola's outfit? Um, as you said, you kind of are taken by a mood rather than individual garments. So like the whole kind of theme of it. So it's like urban, sporty, playful, but still girly. And it's about finding the balance between like what's really what's really feminine and, and what and what's cool and sporty at the same time. And I don't feel that maybe you, you managed to get that bit right. Was it? They said it, they could see it was beautifully made. They said like they could see the work and the fact that it was like impeccably made. And like they said, the men's room was you know really really beautiful and really yeah. strong. But they just said that it just wasn't right. Like any of it, none, none of it was right. I like the colours somehow because it's something I don't really usually wear in it. But that feels more like a music video outfit and. I feel like it's a bit too loud. The shaping on that front, yeah. for me, feels a tiny bit feminine, and it needs yeah. to just... It needs to man up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is would be me really out of my comfort zone, but it really works, and I think if I went there and tried it, it could actually really pull off. I could see that walking down a runway. Hello. So, because you get hot in the studio, I wanted to give you an option okay. of having both sleeves or no sleeves. There's a lot you can do. They work. Right, well done. What's and this little thing the, you're carrying um, on the floor? Oh, this is for um, little bits. You said yesterday you didn't want to be too hot, and you felt like it was too hot. So, um, so we've just gone with like a black bra. It's a bit sexy and a bit risky. Because the one thing I was worried about is this is not my usual style. It's a bit out of my comfort zone, but yeah. that really like brings it home, and it's made me really excited to try, you know, something that I wouldn't normally. Yeah, yeah, she absolutely loved it. I liked it a lot. Oh, Turn around and hold your arms out. That's a T for you. Wow. That's winning. I like that T on the back. I like that idea. That's winning. I love the short. I like the shape of them and stuff. And if you just turn around, like, I was really excited about she said she was going to do this lettering. And this just feels like not very finished to me. When I first heard Jacqueline describe this, I was like, it sounds a bit children's TV presenter, or it sounds a bit, a bit play days. That particular shape, it's not really me. I think we should probably see Jacqueline. Are you happy with your outfits? Yes. Let's approach, this is yours. I was actually really excited about the lettering because I've never had anything like that before. And for me, this, it just doesn't feel very high-end and, like, finished, you know? It just looks like a little bit of an afterthought. I'm sure it'd be something you could rethink and fix easier. Yeah, and I think you did really well. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. You. What did they say? Little Boots doesn't like the lettering. Yeah. Didn't you love the jacket? Oh, well. Like, that's anyway. good, though. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. pleased. So I think overall, given the amount of time and the amount of tasks we threw at them, like, the standard's pretty high. Your jacket, for yeah. example, I think we all feel like you could go down to Bond Street and pick that up. Yeah. There is a couple of shockers in there. I think that's what's difficult when, like, Tinchy's jacket was so high-end and, and really well-made, and then, you know, in the same collection, I was really disappointed in my outfit. For me, it didn't come together as one collection. It wasn't working at all. So do you all have... Oh, mine's between two. What, what about you? I've kind of... I was between two, but I've got... I've got I know who mine is. Yeah? Yeah, I know who mine is. What about you? Yeah, I'm pretty clear, actually. It's the last person I thought is actually my favourite. Well, should we get the designers in and let them know our decision? I think so. Yeah. yeah. You all look so happy. <laughs> you guys really tired? Yeah. A lot of work this week. 
You all definitely deserve a huge pat on the back for the amount of work that you've put in this week. We have deliberated with Tin Chi and with Little Boots and with Nicola. So now it's time for us to reveal our decision. And the look that I've decided to go with is Heidi's. Nicola was the one I was most excited about, for sure, 100%. That was the biggest challenge, to capture her but push her. Um, and, and I did it with a jumper. OK, it was really tough, um, but I think the person that actually listened to the brief the most and managed to be really creative and put their own stamp on it, as well as being sensitive to my style, was... Heidi. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. I feel amazing. I can't believe it. It's incredible. It's incredible. This wasn't easy for me, but I'm gonna have to go with Jacqueline. Well done, well done, well done. It's been a long journey, but you know, I enjoyed every moment. I can't believe it. You know, next week I'm gonna design for Rihanna. I'm gonna see her. I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna, you know, dress her. Steve and Zainab, we would like to see both of you back at the studio, and one of you will be going home. So this is it. This is the big moment where we actually get rid of one of the last players. Between both Zainab and Steve. I've got 50-50 chance, and it's against Steve as well. He's super strong. So yeah, it's really not ideal at all. I feel like Zainab doesn't have a strong aesthetic like what Steve has. But when Zainab is on par, there could be something there that Rihanna would like. I don't know if Steve is capable of bringing something that's in Rihanna's realm. Does he understand a woman's body? Does he understand a woman's shape? I, ca I can't forget about the shorts that he's just put in front of me. They've really scarred you, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Statistically, Zainab and I were the two strongest competitors. I mean, we were the, we'd won the most between us. And now, like, we're the weakest this week, and one of us is going home. I think throughout the whole experience, Steve has created things consistently that he likes that are very much his aesthetic, which in a certain way does show courage. If you put all of his outfits from the whole thing in a line, collection. When he sat here, when he was almost eliminated, and he kept saying what he wanted to do and what he was going to do for Rihanna, can he do that? I think he could if if he really pushed himself to do so. And I don't get me wrong, I think Zainab creatively, definitely in her color choices mm -hmm. and even in her just like sort of hodgepodge way of throwing things together, that could really work for Rihanna. See, for me, maybe it's just that Zainab as a person, she doesn't excite me and like when she's selling her things, it's very, she's just got this really laid back attitude. A big part of who you are as a designer has to do with your personality. Well, yeah, you have to put your personality into your design. For me, I find it really difficult to send him home over Zainab because he's consistently made things that are impeccably made. Taking away, like, who sort of is more creative than the other, I, I don't know. I really want to hear what they've got to say and what they think that they can bring to the table for Rihanna. Hi. Hi. How are you guys feeling? We're not burned out just yet. We're really struggling. We're in a position where everyone has got the skill and everyone's got the talent so we really do need to hear from you guys yeah this is the hardest one so far from today's showcase i think there was some real disappointments from you steve i'm sorry to say but i think we felt like there was you know one 
of your outfits, elements of two maybe that just really miss the mark. The last couple of weeks we have maybe seen you dip a little and we didn't, we didn't know whether that was creatively, whether you've gone a bit dry. I really, really don't think that's the case as in being creatively dry or whatever. I've been trying to take myself out of what I would normally do and then doing stuff that's not me and then not feeling confident and not feeling comfortable with it and making stuff that... You're overthinking and I yeah. think when you get into that mindset it's almost impossible to go back. It's like you almost have to like wash it clean and start over. I totally agree. I don't want you guys to think that I'm burned out or done or creatively stifled or anything like that because I'm not. I know I'm not. So you know, do you have anything to say? The reason why I came here is I wanted to dress Rihanna. I wanted, I want to so much. Like she's like my perfect client and these, these weeks I feel like I've been trying out new things kind of every week to build up to put everything together i know like i'm taking like what you say my strengths and putting them all together to for something spectacular i make all my fabrics like i don't like to buy and cut and sew because i want it to be like tailor-made with an artist them it's them expressing themselves with their music and you know for me i'm a designer doing the same so for us to meet in the middle i need to hear a bit of them and that's kind of my first steps of it and then i bring myself to it i really know that if i put everything together that would be rihanna like i like i listen to her music i feel her and i just i feel like i can really make something for her i've literally eyes on the goal I think you, you kind of touched on it yourself a little bit when you said that each week you've tried to bring something new and something different to the table. I feel like as a designer and creatively, we're sort of on a journey with you. It's very much a sort of work in progress. We still need to talk a couple of things through. Do you mind giving us a minute? We'll ask you just to step out for a second. What do you think from, from that was just the first what was... time I have ever felt her opinion was solid? Yeah. Just before we spoke to them, I was definitely thinking that Zainab should go home. The minute she spoke and she described why we can't pinpoint her aesthetic, she's she... trying everything out and yeah. she's, she's experimenting and this is what we've been asking them to do. If Steve brought everything he, he's shown us, everything we think he's got to the table, put it in that one outfit for Rihanna. I get where you're but going. Then if Zayna brings to the table everything that we she's experimented with, texture, print, like, you know, crochet, knit, all of those things. Oh my God, we're about to take, do something scary. I'm getting a sweat on. I think we've come to a decision. So let's get them back in. Zainab, actually, I think your successes has been your downfall. Your answer to Henry's question, the way you explained your, your journey and your collection has now finally made sense. It gave me confidence in you. Steve, we, we heard what you said, and, and I, uh, I love the story of you telling your journey, and, and I think you're spot on with figuring out where where it's gone wrong, where it's felt good, where it's felt bad. At this stage, what we're really looking for is someone who can present something that is new, that is fresh, that's exciting, that is interesting, innovative, to Rihanna for this final challenge. And I think for the three of us, we think that that's you, Zainab. And so I'm really sorry, Steve. I'm gonna have to ask you to go. We've seen your journey, we've watched this whole thing happen for you and it's just, it's really difficult. And I'm just, I'm very, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Kill it, okay? <laughs> You're doing it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And thanks for all the advice. It's like a word. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Bye, guys. <laughs> I was here to get to the final. I was here to design for Rihanna. And um, 
I'm just really disappointed in myself for not getting that far. I just, yeah, just let down, really. Don't revert back into laid back Zainab now. It's not about that. Gone this week. Yeah. It was 100% gone from this week. Zainab, congratulations. You should be very proud of yourself. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs>